Hi Cancer, you're up next for the week of March 19th through the 26th. This is for the sign of Cancer. These are, my weekly readings are generally love readings and um, so we'll see what comes up. I was going to get one oracle card then we'll break into the tarot deck but since one just came flying out we're going to go with it. Um, this will be revealed at the end. So, what I was saying is, uh, generally my weekly readings are love readings. <laughs> Things don't want to shuffle. Interesting. Stiff. These cards are stiff. I don't know why. They shouldn't be. Um, what do you have for cancer? Jeez, some crow. They are definitely flying out, huh? Ooh. Lack of awareness. Don't want to hear the truth. Don't want to see the truth. No truth, please. I don't want to hear the truth. That's what the card means. Oh. <laughs> you know, and I know you guys, you know, you might have a hard time hearing the truth. Okay, you might, because if you were f fully invested in a situation, sometimes the truth hurts, okay? There could be some self-loathing, there could be some self-doubt, there could be some, you know, emptiness, okay, because of this truth that has come out. This is some period, it's some sort of freedom that you may not have wanted, okay, because this is liberation, the Ten of Swords. It's like, you can only go up from here. Okay, so I feel as though, you know, there is it's, something has ended or it's about to end and you really don't want to face it. There could have been some, you know, somebody has, some secret has come out. Somebody could have gotten caught. Some secret could have came out in regards to love and it may be disheartening, okay? That's what it looks like to me. And I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but there could be some, somebody could be getting caught and, you know, the secret is revealed and it affects your love life. And, you know, I feel like you are starting to realize the truth even though you don't want to hear it, okay? Somebody is starting to, maybe you're starting to, um... have faith okay and I know that's hard to explain but it's like you're you're starting to restore your faith in yourself and your own beliefs okay even though this hurts there's something that maybe you've been left out in the cold by somebody and you're realizing the truth of the situation even though you don't want to hear it you know it looks to me like Somebody has gotten caught. Somebody has gotten caught doing something. And it may bring about some sort of healing for you. Maybe you're finally accepting the truth. And you don't, but, you know, it looks like you're not with this judgment card. Because that's truth. But it's reversed. You know, but somebody has gotten caught. And I think you probably have no choice but to accept the truth. Okay, at this point. And you may be left feeling like, you know, now I need to start healing and take these swords out of me. I need to slowly take the swords out and start this healing process, okay? It appears to me that you are, are starting to accept this truth that is hurtful. But you don't really want to accept this truth because it was love, okay? And it might have made you feel stable and secure. But I feel like you were being protected. Okay, you were being protected whether you know it or not. And it looks like, you know, this wasn't destiny. Whatever it is, it was a run of bad luck. Okay, and you can't control it anymore. This is lack of control. It's out of your control. You can't control destiny. You can't. You can't. Okay, this was destiny. This was destiny. Every part, every facet, every relationship, whatever is destiny. But 
this wasn't meant to be long term. Okay, this wasn't, it's, it was time for it to complete whatever it is with this Wheel of Fortune. It's like this was bad luck. Whatever you were involved in was bad luck. And there's no forward movement here, okay? And I feel like you've been resisting changing the course, resisting accepting the truth, and that's what this is. But I think that now, you know, you have been resisting, but I think now you are starting to... be more disciplined regarding this truth, okay? I think that you've taken a lot of time to think about it and now something has happened that the truth has come out, okay? The truth has come out and it may have come out abruptly, okay? Something has happened that pushes you, makes you see the truth and that's all there is to it, okay? And you've been resisting this for a while. And I'm sorry to tell you that. You could be dealing with somebody that's been lying to you. Maybe they've been cheating. You know, they've been, it's been complete. It's been, you've been duped, okay? You've been tricked. And I think that you've known this, but the acceptance of it is hard. And now you are starting to be practical. I have to be practical here, even though I don't want to. And I feel like, you know, the tower moment, this is the tower. The tower has come out to, you know, to protect you because this is protection. Something has happened that is protecting you even though you may not see it that way. Yeah, you've been through a run of bad luck here with that Wheel of Fortune reversed. You have. You've been through a run of bad luck in the in the universe. I consider the Tower one of the universe cards. Is saying, okay, enough. Enough is enough. This person is just thinking. All they're doing is thinking. They're not taking action. They're not being practical. Somebody is not. There's no reconciliation here. It's not true love, unfortunately. And I need to come in and make them see the truth. I need to come in and make them realize. So they, they bring about this event that brings out the truth, okay? And this truth is coming out to protect you because you haven't been taking action. And I think that you're being called to look at this as a time of inspiration and free yourself because this is freedom. This is liberation, you know, to free yourself from this situation because you haven't been. You've just been thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it instead of being practical and actually taking action because there's no more. There's no more growth here. There's no more expansion. Okay. It's the Ace of Wands reverse. There's no more growth. There's, 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 there could be an end of a partnership here. Okay. Yeah, somebody does not want to own up to it because this is a lack of awareness. This is like, I don't want to see the truth. Please. This is an awakening. This is an awakening. No, please don't tell me. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to face it. I don't have the strength. I don't have the courage. I don't have the discipline. I don't have the willpower. I can't master my emotions at this time. I can't deal with this truth right now. But somebody has been unable to take action, unable to make a move, unable to use their resources. They ha this is being tricked and this is being tricked. Somebody has been tricked. That's all there is to it. They're right next to each other. And the universe is protecting you. And that's why they have brought about this event. To give you courage that you've been lacking. And to, to and to make you see the light. This is this is it. To make you see the light. The five of cups is re reversed. Is seeing the light. It's time for you to see the light.
I feel like you've been you've gone through a period of anguish with this bad luck you know the wheels right here you've gone through sleepless nights you've known about this you saw it you just didn't want to accept it and the tower has seen your sleepless nights they've seen your depression they see the stress that you're going through and they want you to see the light They want you to see the truth, in which you, you see the truth, but you don't want to accept the truth. Okay? That's all there is to it. And, you know, I feel as though you are being protected. You are being protected. And that's why this event is coming in. And it, it feels as though, you know, you could have... I want to see what this Six of Cups is. You could have a new... A new beginning. This is a new foundation. A new beginning with somebody that you've known before if you would let go. I think you're holding on to somebody. You're holding on to somebody that you're not supposed to hold on to. Because this is building elsewhere. Starting elsewhere. Going elsewhere. And I think there's somebody else. Somebody from your past. And this could even be somebody from your past life. But right now, because right now you're going through some troublesome time because you don't want to accept the truth of something that has gone wrong. You know, I feel like there is, there could be. But that Ace of Cups is reversed. There's a new offer. I think this is a new offer that's coming in. That your ships are starting to come in, or they want to come in with the tower. You know, this can be so many ways. But I think there is a new offer coming in that you should accept, that could lead to, or you need to offer, okay, that, you, that could lead to happiness and appreciation. But you're going through some heartache right now. And I think it's over a third party situation. I do. I do. I feel like you have been cheated on. And somebody has gotten caught. This is what it looks like to me. And this is what I think it is. I mean, it, this is for so many people. But whatever. I feel like you've been cheated on. And it hurts. And you don't want to accept it. But you know it. And that you... And, and this doesn't have to be... This cheating can be in many, many ways. Somebody has been caught. And this is a very powerful event that makes you realize, that makes you realize something, that makes you own up to the truth, and makes you find your courage and your inner strength, which you have been lacking, to use this suffering as growth, okay? The suffering that you have been through has brought you growth. And I feel like it is time for you to only focus on the future, not on this past hurt. I feel as though that you have a new offer. Maybe you offer it or, or they offer it and that it could lead to a permanent commitment, permanent happiness. It could, but you're still suffering. You're still in this depressive state of mind where you need to, you need to understand that everything happens for a reason. I don't think that you have completely let go of this suffering yet. You're still grieving. You're still hurting over this deception. But I think that you have the chance, this is a reunion, you have the chance for a reunion with somebody that you may have known before to start a new foundation if you would only let go. But you have to let go of something that isn't meant for you first. Because whatever this is that isn't meant for you is not a commitment. It's not. It's never going to lead to a firm, solid commitment. You need to let go of something so that this, this new love can come in. All right, you do. But as long as you hold on, it's not going to happen. There's no new commitment for you that leads to a happy relationship until you let go of this sorrow and grief. You know, you need to bring balance back to your life and you need to heal. Healing is needed. Okay, everything happens for a reason. And I feel like, you know, you may not be thinking like that right now. You may be feeling very upset and hurt and you know, in complete despair because you have been lied to and cheated. But I feel as though if you would just let this this period of discontent and hurt um, be just uh, 
a turning point, you know, it's it's a lesson that has been learned and accept this as truth and, and let this partnership go, you know, and bring balance and harmony and peace back to your life, then you will find happiness. But you have to definitely understand that you need to let go of this commitment that didn't work out. By you holding on to a commitment that didn't work out, there's no new foundation with somebody you've known before. Okay, but this is the opportunity for a new foundation with somebody you've known before. But if you're still committed to something that is obsesses, obsessive, you know, you're obsessed with a, something that isn't solid. Okay, so I mean, that's what it is. It just appears to me that you're grieving so deeply that you're unable to look at this as a time of inspiration and liberation. You need to look at this from a different perspective and I don't feel like you are able to move forward. Okay, you're not mastering your emotions. This is you. And that card is mastering your emotions upright. It's reversed. You must master your emotions to bring success and victory to your life. You you must. You must. You've got to take back control of your mind. I feel like this is a week of realizing, because I saw that at the beginning, of realizing the truth and owning up to it and being like, you know what, if this does, it's the truth. It's the truth. Whatever this truth is, you know what it is. You do know what this truth is. I don't have to tell you. And I feel like you guys have been in denial because you were in love. But it wasn't destined to be forever. It wasn't. It wasn't. But I do see that you have happiness. You do have happiness ahead of you that can lead to something permanent. But you have to let go of this false union first. Okay? Because all it does is bring chaos and disorganization to your life. You know, and it feels like you lack control. You lack control at this time. Okay? Things are out of control. It's time to bring some control back. But you're reluctant to see the new approach. Staying stuck in the mud. Unable to take action. It's time to make it final and release this heaviness. It's time to bring some balance back to your life and make the decision. It's decision making time. This is finality. This was a karmic situation. And now it's time to bring the balance. The temperance with the justice card. It's time to bring balance back to your life, back to your mind. You are need to reverse this card, put it back upright and master your emotions and take back control. There's a lack of control here. You've lost control of your own mind. And it's time to get it back. It's time to balance out these scales and do the right thing for you. Take the blindfold off. Accept the truth. You know what the truth is. Whatever it is, you know. Your inner guide is telling you right now what this truth is. Stop denying your inner guide. Love is all around you. There is love everywhere all the time. Simply acknowledge this as truth. Love is all around you. You have a new lover. You have somebody else. And this is, and I know it. I can see it. You do. You have a new lover, but you're holding on to the wrong one. And this is just reiteration. Let go. You have somebody else. Please, please, please. And this is somebody that you already know. It doesn't mean they could just be an acquaintance. 
okay? It's somebody that you know, could be somebody from a past life. You will know by the familiarity of this person. Anyway, this is what I have for the week, accepting the truth. And you know what the truth is. Talk to you later.